<laughs> and then uh, from KDP, there's the Testnet V4 update. 1,150 new validators online in the last six days. Average validator APR 29.9% uh, and will drop as more join the network contracts, projects be, being deployed smoothly. That's cool. 29.9%. Obviously, um, as participation go grows, APR is going to level out and be considerably less. But I like the reason why I bring up this tweet is because she says, yes, it appears Shanghai is the only thing left. Mainnet is so close. So there you go. That's from KDP. Mainnet is so close. But there is no Shanghai. So there could be no talk. There can be no talk of Pulse Chain launching until the Shanghai update is implemented. Confirmed by Brett, by Brett Tepp. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. Motley reported this. Motley Investor reported in the stream that the dev, he was talking to the dev, but he really was talking to the dev. And the dev said that there needs to be a Shanghai implementation before mainnet launches. So that's what you have to be looking for. You have to be looking for the Shanghai implementation. The limit orders on Pulse X can be implemented after after launch but the shanghai update will be implemented before so that requires probably some testing you know and just making sure that the network runs smoothly once all upgrades are uh, implemented so that's your notice that pulse chain is not launching today and then this was from brett the dev. We're talking to the dev. There's a 90, and it was retweeted by Posidon. Um, it was tweeted from Posidon. Uh, their effort behind the scenes led to 96.29 reduce in latency in just one day. Not all heroics are front facing. So shout out to Posidon. I discovered him before he before he was almost at 1,000 followers. He does really good stuff, very good technical updates. So you should be checking him out. And it's so good that the lead dev, the lead dev was quote tweeting it. But the point is, is that uh, things are running very well. There's low latency and there's just one more update left until the mainnet launch. It was also confirmed that there is going to be no v5 but they said that about v4 and i think they said that about v3 and they said that about v2 so you know that's not a guarantee them saying no v5 is not a guarantee that there will be no v5 but i really don't think there's going to be a v5 if if you'd have to ask me so i think we're very close to some very good price performance for hex some very good short-term price performance followed perhaps by a uh, sell the news correction that could be considerably higher than current prices anyhow. And I think it will be. So I'm very, very bullish, but don't get your Lambo out and don't get your Lam Lamborghini magazine out just yet. We still have time before we go to those euphoric levels. And by time, I mean a lot of time in crypto terms but not a lot of time in regular time terms. So we have about six months until we can start getting the shopping catalog <laughs> catalog out or whatever. You guys start reassessing how your new lifestyle is going to be if you're new to the space. But that's really good. That's really exciting in my opinion. So what do you guys think about the launch? But I think we're going to have some, we're going to have some good, relief rally so to speak meaning nice price appreciation you're going to look at your ladder you're going to be like wow i'm so happy i've been accumulating during that dip i have a lot more money than i thought and i'm earning every single day right so some good feelings some good vibes we may not visit under 10 cents again uh after the next pump but nothing's a guarantee in crypto nothing so do your own research it's not financial advice Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe.
for weekly meetings, courses, and to access my Discord, consider becoming a Patreon. If you're looking for a more personal experience, consider booking a one-on-one. -on -one. All links are in the description.